Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review, and today we're excited to check out Googly Eyes from Goliath. This is for 4 to 18 players, age is 7 plus, it'll take you about 15 to 25 minutes to play. And in Googly Eyes, this is a team-based drawing game where you are going to be putting on some glasses and trying to do your best to draw either easy, medium, or hard things. But it's not going to be that easy because you are going to be wearing these glasses, which will have these different lenses that'll make things look all sorts of different weird. You also might have some challenges that are going to allow you to uh, pick which ones you draw, lose a turn, or potentially even draw with your offhand. It's a light, simple, team-based family game, but is it good? Let's open it up, and I'll tell you what I think. Alrighty then, we're gonna take a look at what you're gonna get inside of Googly Eyes. So first and foremost, we have a handy dandy rule sheet. Uh, it's two pages, pretty much here, no pictures, no illustrations, but it is well done. It should have you up and running in no time at all. The only big omission that absolutely positively needs to be in here is slide it in. So when you first get the game, you're gonna have the pair of glasses and they're already gonna have lenses in it because they did the little plastic thing. They want you to know how cool it looks. But here's the thing, let me set it up for you. You're going to get this and you're going to try to pop these glasses out, right? Pop them out. Quite simple. Pop them out. Pop them out. They're not going to pop out. Why do they feel like they're going to break? Why do they feel like they're going to break? You're going to be like, oh, I can't get them out. I feel like they're going to break. <sighs> and then if you're lucky and you don't break them, you'll realize that they quite easily slide out with like the smallest bit of pressure. So they really needed to include that in the rule booklet that you just slide them out because I nearly broke these glasses about three times the first time time I did that because I was trying to get them out. But in googly eyes, I digress, what you're trying to do is you're trying to make your way along this track as a team because this is a team game. So there'll be uh, teams competing against each other to get all the way to the finish line. You're going to do that by rolling the dice and then drawing various different things while wearing the googly eye glasses, which are going to come with three different types of lenses right here. I'll show you how this works in a second. So Let's go over the components, get in the gameplay. So first we got our board. What you'll need to know on the board is when you land on a couple slots, spots, a couple different things will happen. So this one, lose a turn, because everybody loves to lose a turn. This one is you get to pick whether or not you want to do easy, medium, hard, aka yellow, green, blue. Uh, this one is you don't have to wear glasses, but you still have to do a green one. Um, you also notice the colors. So this means you have to do the green one on the card. Uh, this one, the yellow ones mean you have to do the yellow, and the blue ones mean you have to do the blue, and the green ones give you 15 seconds. They're easy. The yellow ones, 30 seconds, and the blue ones, the harder ones, 45 seconds. Uh, here is one that we have that's really interesting where you have to switch hands, so instead of using your right hand, you're going to have to use your left hand, left hand or vice versa. When this game is already kind of difficult, that one will really make it tricky. Also, you're going to get this really crummy dice that you're going to put stickers on, but the stickers are going to poke off the edges, and it's really going to annoy you. Listen to that. You hear that? You hear that? That's the sound of me being annoyed right there. Yeah, that's going to annoy you, but it is what it is. Uh, it's a D6 dice, but it only has uh, two threes, fours, and fives on it. So let's show you exactly how the game works. Oh, you're also going to get this cool little timer. So how it works is first team is going to roll the die, and they will move that number of spaces. So one, two, three, four. Congratulations, Red. You have lost your turn. Great example. <laughs> now we'll go with green. Uh, they also, one, two, three, four. They have lost their turn. So this is starting off really, really rough now. Let's get back to red. Red goes four spaces. One, two, three, four. Aha, now we can actually play the game. So how it works is you're gonna uh, you're gonna take turns and one person is going to be the writer. They are going to be using the blue hard lenses. So you're gonna slide those lenses in there and they will make things look very, very different. Let's see if I can put this up to the camera and give you guys a feel for how it is going to work. So yeah, it makes things different. It's gonna make things hard to draw. So next thing that's going to happen is you are going to draw yourself a card, tell everybody the category, which in this case would be objects, and then let's give this the old college try. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be absolutely terrible. So, got our timer, we're gonna get it ready, set to 45 seconds, and this is not electronic power, so it's not gonna be batteries or anything, which is nice, and then I'll take a peek at what we're doing, uh, oh man, okay, so ready, set, go. So, see if I can do my best. Oh my gosh. Uh, so, hmm, hmm. Oh, actually, this is, this has turned out real well. Uh, at this point, you can't really talk. You're not supposed to make any noises at all. Uh, there's some basic rules, like you can't use, like, letters and stuff like that. But I think someone would definitely get that. I think someone would definitely get, uh, book at this point, and I would be like, yay! So if someone got it right, then, oh, oh I don't want to break it. 
So if someone get it right, then you get to roll again, and you get to move forward that many number of spaces. So red would go forward four more spaces. One, two, three, four. Now, if you happen to land on a spot that has like something interesting, then you just save it to do it next turn as well. So the uh, the penalty for not getting something correct is that you just don't get to roll the die again which uh, it is what it is we'll talk more about that in pros and cons green would go next they got a three they would go one two three they would be doing the yellow one and let's show you some of the cards so there's going to be objects there's uh places entertainment and i believe those are the three object places and entertainment and uh give you some ideas of the cards so objects we have tent cell phone t-rex we have zebra birthday cake reindeer we have snowball puppy mermaid Elephant, whale, race car. Let's do some places. Let's do some places. Uh, I'll do entertainment. Headphones, Little Mermaid, Mother Goose. Some of those are going to be pretty stinking difficult. But anywho, you're going to be racing until someone gets to the finish line. You do not have to draw anything when you get to the finish. You don't have to uh, get there on the exact count. It's just once you get to the finish, you have won the game, and you will be the winners of Googly Eyes. In that nutshell, that's how the play is, game is played. All right then, googly eye from Goliath. What are my final thoughts? Let's go with the pros, let's go with the cons. First, on the con side, game's not going to be fair, but for a variety of different reasons. This is a party slash family game. There's no other avenues I'm really going to see this succeeding because of how simple uh, the mechanisms are. Also, there's not much strategy in this game at all. It's just draw your best, roll your best, if that's a thing, and hope you get the high numbers. And that's another big, big, big con of this game is that it essentially is... Just a roll and move game. And if you get uh, a lot of threes and the other team gets a lot of fives, you're probably going to lose the game. Now, that being said, if you're better at drawing than other people, then you're going to have a step up, which is another kind of this game that if you're really good at drawing and you have a team that has a lot of really good drawers on it, you're going to win most likely. Because while the glasses do disorient you somewhat, it's still not the worst thing in the world, but it can lead to some uh, some funny things happening. Now, big con that I have with this game that should have been in the rule booklet, and it's, it's a nitpick as long as I tell you it, is that they really need to tell you that you slide the glasses off, because when you first get them, and I mentioned this middle part, so I'll cover it very briefly, when you first get the glasses, you are going to naturally think that they're just going to pop out, but you're not going to be able to pop them out because they're stuck in there really, really hard, and you're going to be like, why won't these things pop out, and you think you're going to break them. What you're supposed to do is just Boop, easily slide them out. Once you learn how to slide them out, they're delightful, but until then, you're going to be frustrated and you're going to think you're going to break your brand new stinking game. Any other comments after the game? The board's a little bit ho hum. I would have liked, uh, you know, lose a turns on there, which, come on, people. This is 2019. Can we get rid of lose a turn? I know that you know better than that, Pressman. Put something else. Put, put I don't know, close one eye or close both eyes or i don't know you just make it so you can't see and it's an easy one all the time i don't know just don't make people lose a turn it's not fun it's not fun for everybody uh also i was not the biggest fan and we actually house ruled this the second time we played because i wasn't a big fan of it right from the jump of the fact that if you just fit, get to the finish you win and that really does reward the the other issue that i already mentioned with this game which is essentially that it's just a roll and move game so if you get a whole bunch of fives you get to the finish you win game over so what I made the rule was that you had to be at the finish and then you had to you had to draw one and had to get somebody to guess it. And you could pick easy, medium, or hard. So you still, you know, you're at an advantage because all you had to do is get one, but that added a whole extra layer to the game and it added some definite suspense to the game. Because if somebody's way far ahead of you, it's like, oh, we're going to lose because they're just going to roll it and get there no matter what. But with this, it's like, oh, we can hope. We can hope they don't get it right or maybe they get a hard word. And I really do think that adds to the game. And I would recommend adding that house rule at your house immediately before you even play it. Honestly, I think I think it makes the game better. Uh, other comment out of this game, component-wise, the pawns, yeah, they're, they're here. They're, they're neither here nor there. It's a team-based game, which will be turning off some people. You have to play with teams, so you are going to need a larger player count. And the die. The die is not good. It's just a piece of plastic, a square piece of plastic. You put the stickers on it, but the stickers are too big, so they pull off the side. And the more you roll it, the more likely they are to come off the side. And when people pick at them, they're going to lose their stickiness. And eventually, they're going to fall off, and we're all going to hate it. Just come on. How hard is it? Just make the stickers smaller so I can easily fit it onto the entirety of the square. So here's the sticker. Put it like that. Don't make it like this where I have to just be like a microsurgeon in order to put it on there. That just annoys the living heck out of me. But moving on to the pros, Google Eyes is a really fun party slash family game. And I played this with adults. I played with kids. Went over well every time I played it with. Especially with the kids. Kids really had a blast with this one. 
Uh, they liked the fact that most of the words they knew, that is another con. Some of them, if you're playing with younger kids, they're going to be like, what's this? What's that? And that can be a little bit unfortunate. But other than that, I really enjoyed this game. It's easy to learn. It's easy to teach. It's team-based. So, you know, everyone can kind of help each other if they can't figure something out. Uh, the glasses do look cool. The timer works well. And uh, I, I liked it. I'm going to be keeping this game. And that's, you know, I always like to mention at the end of the room, I think this is a good enough game that I definitely am going to keep it. I'm going to be keeping it in my classroom. Now, looking at it purely from a party game perspective. So as a, as a family game perspective, yes, no brainer. If you have a family that's large enough to play this and will be willing to play this, I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this game. Now, onto the party game category, because there's a lot of really excellent drawing party games out there. Do I think this is one of them? No, I do not. I think this is a good drawing party game, and I think you will have fun with it, but I think you're going to want the glasses to be slightly more disorienting. Whereas when you're playing in the family game, you don't want it to be crazy. So I wish they would have included, like, a bonus one that if you're playing with just adults, you could bump these up that would just make it, like, nearly impossible to draw. I think that would have been really stinking awesome, because as it stands now, spoiler alert, you can kind of close one eye, and it makes it a lot easier to do it. And So I wish they made one that was just, like, absolute, just, like, level four blindness. So there you go. Uh, I had fun with it. Easy to learn, easy to teach. Components, aside from that little omission in the rule booklet, should be there. The, you know what? The components are ho hum. I will say, that, you know, I'm not going to glow about the components. The glasses work well. They don't feel like they're going to break, except when you're pushing on them, because when you first win the game. And that is Googly Eyes from Goliath, one that I can recommend as a family game and also as a party game, even though I do know there are some better drawing party games out there that I find a lot more fun. But this is still one that I would absolutely bust out a party game because it does accommodate a really large player. Yeah, that's another thing I want to mention. This accommodates a really large player group and it does it really stinking well. It says up to 16, but I think it could easily do up to 20, maybe. Uh, because the thing is, it's just somebody drawing and everybody trying to guess uh, that's on a team. But that also does bring up the other issue, that there is some downtime in between turns. But you're going to have fun watching other people draw and trying to guess what they're drawing as well. So I'm going to kind of nix that one and say, in the end, Googly Eyes is a good party game and a great family game that I definitely can recommend if it looks like it might be your cup of tea. If you enjoyed this review, please sure to click on that subscribe button down below. If you want to support the channel, click on that little Amazon Associates link down below. Buy anything on Amazon. Same amazing great price. Throws a couple of pennies my way. Really does help support the channel. And in the comments below, let me know, do you wear glasses? For me personally, yes. I've had to wear them since I was, uh, I don't even remember, 8, 9, 10 years old. I hate them. I want to get Lasix one day. I like, uh, I like contacts better. But... It is what it is. I got the short end of the stick when it comes to vision. Learn all the comments below. Do you wear glasses? Oh, and that, and I think I look super cool with sunglasses. I can't do it with these because I don't want the clip-ons. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.